Construction season is here as the weather warms up just a little bit. One of the most talked about projects, of course, is that exit 16 diverging diamond interchange. Melissa also worked on this story, which explains what VTrans is doing. You're looking at what's called a blast here on exit 16 in the Colchester Winooski area. We've started with some earth movement. We've already constructed one of the uh, retaining walls under the bridges. Um, we're now looking to construct the other retaining wall. We're going to have to blast some ledge. The long-standing project aims to create this diamond interchange to help alleviate issues on the road, the area being the eighth highest crash area in the state. Project manager Michael LaCroix says drivers can expect to see V-Trans crews on the road here during the day, blasting nearly every day, holding up traffic for 10 to 15 minutes each time for most of the summer. They'll be switching to nights in a few months. This is going to be a pretty intensive, uh, you know, construction year, especially when we get into reconstructing water line and telecommunications under the roadway. That's going to that's going to be very slow. Um, but a lot of that stuff's going to be done at night where folks probably aren't going to be driving through as often. And statewide, you can expect to see construction crews too. The North Hero Drawbridge project will come to completion with an operation with an operational bridge by May 15th. Jeremy Reed with VTran says they've recently finished a lot of projects, so they're able to get some in-between projects done too. One on Route 2 in Marshfield, a couple down south in Brattleboro on Route 30 and Route 9. Um, we're rehabbing some bridges down in Westminster. Um, and then in Hartford, we've got two pretty significant projects where we're replacing a bridge on the V8 cutoff road, and we're doing a uh, rehabilitation project on the Creechy Gorge Bridge. The bipartisan infrastructure bill passed last November. Reed says VTrans gained 28% of additional funding on top of what they normally get. A lot of our um, roadway reconstruction projects are in that $20 million ballpark. So uh, what, what we're seeing is uh, less of those mega projects and a lot more, you know, 15 to $20 million projects. Phase one of the DDI is expected to be completed this fall. Phase two is the actual construction of the diamond, which is expected to start in 2024 and last around two construction seasons. In Colchester, Melissa Cooney, Channel 3 News.